We're here with Rick Blue and Lindsey Krause. This is what, like sixth year doing this? Or <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing, we've been, we've been ta talking about the summer retreat for a while now. Yeah, we've been talking continuously for six years. <laughs> yes, that's all we talk about. Um, we're here at Rocky Neck. This is, our, this is our third interview on Rocky Neck. But we, but you have uh, some, in addition to the summer retreat, there's some other very exciting news, uh, some new space, and uh, why don't you talk about that? All right, we'll start. We'll start with that. Yeah. Um, Wisdom's Heart Center. Uh, has existed for a while in Pigeon Cove and we felt strongly that we needed to come into Gloucester. Our mission is to help people. We need more people to help. Mm. So we're going to come into 2 Duncan Street which is right opposite where Alchemy was and Alchemy is being renovated. It's a big mystery. I don't know what mm. Alchemy is going to become. Dun, dun, dun. But it's across the street from the Great Mystery and it's a beautiful space, a beautiful open space. We're going to have to teach, we're gonna have yoga, we're gonna have tai chi, we'll have dance, we'll have music, we'll have classes of all kinds, and we want to have classes um, that are not only Buddhist, but to really open the conversation of spirituality. So it's going to become a spiritual center for all traditions. Um, Rick and I are the new. What is it called? The acronym, people. the RATSAs, the Resident Teachers Spiritual Advisors. So we're kind of uh, adjunct advisors for Lama Maru uh, uh, in, in terms of that part of the center. And we've just moved here uh, full time. I'm still getting used to it, yeah, full time. <laughs> um, and part of uh, the draw here too, aside from kind of for Lindsay to really come back to her soul home, I think, is to, is to be more actively involved in the center. I remember when it was the bookstore. Yeah. It was that great bookstore down there. Bookstore? Then was, uh, wasn't it the, the, the radio station the there? Radio station. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I keep hearing about the radio station. These incredibly yeah. really? fun really? stories about the guy who did it. The guy, in the, the music, I mean, he, it was a jazz. I mean, it was like some really, uh, and I think he had a big following. It yeah. was just and like. He would, he would, you know, go to the dentist and people would come over to the station. To, they were worried about it. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for years. Yeah, Love cool it. space though. Yeah. I, I did a when Ken was re redeveloping the building. I was in there. I, I'm curious to see how what you guys end up doing with it. But it was an amazing, wide open space with those big, the little brick columns That's in the right. middle. That's exactly right. And the vault. They had the, the vault down, down right. there. Yeah. And then there was the little uh, drop chute where people could send their deposits. This is like you know a hundred years ago. This was yeah. built or whatever. And yeah. didn't what is the number on the building? I wonder. And there has to be like a nameplate on when that building was built. But a lot of history there. Yeah. A lot of history. We're yeah. so happy he's renovated the building. He's mm. done such a beautiful job. Another one of these guys that's come into town and made a difference. He's a great asset. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. good and he's been uh, he's been helpful and uh, you know he kind of saw the vision for it mm. and is and is really supportive of it. So we're really happy about it. And and the other good reason to be in Gloucester is is we you know just don't want to be a center on its own island. We want to be involved in the community. Yeah. We want to be like have service projects. We want to kind of you know really be a part of things and share it and help other people with what they're doing. And I think that's the best way to you know use the Use the great geography there. Well, you couldn't get any more in the heart of the city <laughs> yeah, than right yeah. there. That is like, if I, I think if you're gonna we're like at the be itself. <laughs> right, if you're gonna like be in a helicopter and drop a pin of where the cent the epicenter of like the downtown, that yeah. might be where it lands, right yeah. there. Yeah, and, and hopefully people will see it and notice something new and stop in, and uh, you know we'll have something to offer. Is there a website for it yet? We're, we're, the old website is being overhauled and we're trying we're gonna kind of roll everything out in September okay. is when we're really gonna be totally moved over and kind of hit the full programming stride and but there is a website up there is a website it's up. The, it's the older website but same home wisdoms dot org dot org okay and when the, when you launch when you relaunch uh, when you let me know and we'll put a link yes. we'll put a link up for Thanks. people it's gonna be a, a, a nice website cool and kind of a little more cool well, we got uh, the retreat coming up. Tenth annual. Tenth annual. Wow, it's a big one. Retreat. Do you do anything special for for, for the tenth? Is there gonna be any kind of special marking or celebration or we, what's gonna we're happen? We're just gonna go on vacation. Yeah, <laughs> right. You go home, yeah. go ahead and, and chill out, and relax. I, I, have a, I have a tenth gray hair here uh, that I'm using as my, my symbolic uh, measure of the uh, Yeah, we are gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna actually. Uh, we had a wonderful musician. Well, first of all, we have a new new location this summer. So oh. we're going up north a little bit. 
to uh, Kimball Union Academy in Meriden, New Hampshire, yep. which is very beautiful, nestled in the hills. It'll feel very retreaty. We had a lovely, you know, we started at Windover, and then when we became residential, we had a really nice, I think, four-year run mm -hmm. at Governor's Academy in Byfield, mm -hmm. the old Governor Dummers. Yeah. Glad they changed the name. It just seems like a straight line. My niece goes there. Uh, I'm now. a dumber man. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, and now we're going up to uh, Kimball Union, and it's going to be very sweet. And uh, we have some musical guests who are coming. We're good. Tell them about the theme because it ties into. The theme is awesome. The theme doing. is play. The oh. theme is play as uh, the goal of a spiritual path to be so lighthearted, to be so free mm -hmm. that play is inevitable. Wow. It's. it's um, you know, they say that, you know, the way the great unity that is God becomes the great diversity that is us is out of sheer delight. Mm. So, um, Lama G, Lama Marud is going to teach. <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> oh, goes rain, yeah. not a seagull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. We, well, we are on my neck, you yeah, know, with exactly. all these fishing boats. Yeah, special effects. Yeah. Um, now, uh, Lama Marud is going to teach, you know, he's a, he's a Sanskritist and he is really an expert in the Indian text. And he's going to teach one called the, uh, from one, called the Ashtavaka Gita, which is a beautiful, beautiful text, and maybe the only text in the world that describes what it's like to be enlightened. Mm. And uh, we're really looking forward to it. And um, it's such a lofty term, but it really means what it's like to feel free and to be happy to be and to be able to happy. act out of that freedom as instead of a compulsion you know we're all like have this neurotic who, drive to get going and check my calendar and you know who doesn't need that in yeah. this day and age yeah. Yeah. Well, it's what we always teach at the retreat is how to be happy mm. how how do we become really happy and that it's possible mm. and that it's possible to be happier than we think mm -hmm. we think happiness is kind of an accident in between all of the lousy mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. but happiness can be a steady state and uh, there are many people who've been to the retreat for almost 10 years now. Yeah. And they'll tell you that these teachings, we teach them because they work. Every person that I've spoken to that's gone on the retreat has yeah. nothing but glowing, yeah. ridiculously like, <laughs> you have to go, you have to. Like, like you, they can't even put it into words like how like it has affected them for the good. and. Yeah the teachings and the relax like on so many different levels they all you know to the t every single person that said that has gone the 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 the, the repeat kind of clientele or what you know whatever it is the people must be astounding the list you must see the same faces year after year after year we do. and we have a lot of new people come every year because um you know they sense that there's something it's not a you know it's not it's a spiritual retreat it's all traditions or people who have no traditions mm -hmm. or people who are doubting or questioning or whatever but um, the way we do our meditation the way we do our yoga the way we do our teaching is very warm very inclusive it's not a stiff you know retreat where everybody has to sit straight back against the wall or something it's extremely warm and we have a lot of really wonderful teachers uh, it's, it's so the breadth of it keeps getting wider and wider we keep inviting these great people up so our website, which is thesummerretreat.org, will let you know who's teaching, and also um, we're planning on trying to caravan people up from Cape Ann yep. so that they don't have the objection, you're further away. Right. It's like, that's okay, you'll feel more like you're in retreat. Yeah. You know, I used to have a, 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 my best friend growing up, whenever I get too grim, he'd always look at me and say, hey, don't get any fun on you. <laughs> so the point of this retreat is to get a lot of fun on everybody yeah. and to lo loosen up and to also, you know, teach some practical hands-on things about how to unburden yourself. I mean, because we can't divorce ourselves from the world we're in, but we can incorporate the way we're living in it and loosen up while we do it and then just have more space all the time. Mm. I think we only have so much kind of psychic RAM yeah. in the hard drive here. And so if you can unburden it a little bit, you can just flow a little bit yeah. and you can get some fun on it. Less tension in that neck yeah, and everything. Yeah, great musician, uh, John Decott, um, who uh, comes up and performs. And then we're having a, a, a big dance party the last night. Walker Creek. Walker oh, Creek's wow. coming up. Cool. Uh, which is a great band. They actually played at our wedding um, years ago. And, uh, <laughs> and so they're really nicely coming up. So there's gonna, it's going to be a lot of fun. What are the dates? August 12th, that's a Tuesday, through August 17th, which is a Sunday. Mm -hmm. And for people who just think, oh God, I could never, you know, get the week off or, you know, my cat, my kid, whatever. Um, 
I say to people, you know, out of a lifetime to take a week where you really get off the grid, mm. where you get some quiet time, where you get to be with an incredibly beautiful group of people, master teacher, um, where something actually happens, there's a real sea change in people. Yeah. It's worth it. And, for a lot and of everybody benefits around yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think those are the repeat people. It's <laughs> yeah. like you say, people keep coming back. It's usually the husband or the wife of the participant who says, no, no, please, they come back much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Take them. It's, it's, it's a good investment for everybody else. And yeah. it's the only shot, really, to get Lama Marut in an expanded sense uh, for the rest of the year mm -hmm. because he'll be off again. And, uh, you know, he's on a book tour this year, too. So we should plug his book, Being Nobody. Uh -huh. and, I, and I may have made him sound very young. Erudite, which, which you know, he's yeah. a scholar, but he's clear, he's funny, mm. and he just talks to you. You still ride his Harley? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. hilarious. Sure. Bike. I don't think the surfboards come back out, but the bike's never really gone too far <laughs> there away. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. But like you said, though, like, you know, f oh, how many people say, you know, oh my God, if I get, just get off the grid, I, 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 I would love to have a cabin up in the woods. I would love to be able to do this. Here's your opportunity right here. It's right here in front of you, and people have, ta you guys have taken the steps to, to all you have to do is show up, and, and, and then you guys will take it from there. Thanks. Yeah, and we're excited too because this is the first time after a retreat where we all go away, we're coming back here. Mm -hmm. We're coming back home, right, and we're yeah. going to be available. Yeah. So we'll be able to really keep the continuity going uh, yeah. for everyone who's come up from the Cape Ann area for the retreat. Fantastic. Let's f let's let's end this with the, the places where people can get more information. Mm -hmm. So, what are the two different websites, or where would you like to lead people to find more information? The summer retreat, uh, thesummerretreat.org, yep. um, and that's the website for our. A nonprofit that hosts the summer retreat, and you can get all your information there. Contact numbers will be there, um, and then for the center, Wisdom's Heart Center, which is about to move right into the heart, as you said, yeah. the epicenter of uh, Gloucester is wisdomsheart.org, and uh, you can our website's up, and then the new one will roll out in September. And we're excited about that. Beautiful, guys. Thanks for joining me on Rocky Neck. Thank you, Thank Joey. You. Love Let's it. Let's not do enjoy. Oh, right, exactly. Thanks for the backdrop. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> okay.